Hey, rogues! How is everybody? Uh, I hope that your weekend is going well. I am going to double check and make sure that the proper audio is turned on. Rykar, thank you so much for the thousand Corgo bits! How are you? It's good to see you. I, after uh, the last time and all of the audio was weird, I made changes to try and make sure that the right audio channels are on at the right time and, you know, they're sort of working correctly. But hopefully you can hear me and the music's not too loud this time. Don't know. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been messing around with all of my setup things, which is normal. I do that all the time. Uh, but I'm trying to make sure I can see things properly and I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm also trying to, you know, adjust for the fact that I overslept significantly today. Um, and so I'm here. I am awake. I am. I don't know. It's Saturday. I also feel really weird because the past few weeks I have not managed to do all of the streams in my regular streaming schedule. <laughs> and so, fingers crossed, I really want to actually get through all of the streams this week. Um, oh, yeah, and then, let's see, tonight, tonight I have my D&D &D game, and we left off two weeks ago... Uh, having just reached a book that was locked up in the Frost Maiden's castle, and I reached out and picked it up off of the stand it was standing on, and that was where we ended. So, I don't know <laughs> what's about to happen. We did! We did an awesome job with the Spoopy Bites goal. Um, sadly, I don't have any, like, vampire rewards for it. But it was sort of a uh, vampiric, I, I don't know. That was sort of the inspiration was um, bites, spoopy bites uh, seemed rather vampiric in tone. Um, load and clear. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, thank you. So yeah, I hope that you're all having a good weekend. Anybody have any fun plans planned? I would love to hear about them. Um, I'm also trying something new. I set up the recommended schedule uh, for ads. <clears throat> Since I can't get rid of them, the recommended ad schedule uh, is supposed to be the one that gives the fewest ads, um, but also gives me the most cut of the revenue from the ads. I don't understand. Basically, there should be um, somewhere around three minutes of ads per hour, I think. I don't know, but... Um, the way that it is set up, there should not be pre-roll ads, uh, meaning people showing up who aren't subscribers should not get hit with an ad as soon as they show up. And then um, I believe it's every half hour, there's a minute and 30 seconds. Um, and that that is the least amount that I can set it for. Um, I don't know. If it becomes super obtrusive, I'll go back to where it was before, which was run the fewest number of ads overall. Uh, but that seemed to always have pre-roll ads for everybody. Um, and, you know, of course, I have it set up so that nobody gets them if they're subscribed. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm trying to play around with it, figure out the best mix, since there's no way for me to turn them off completely.
We, we were doing so well. <laughs> and then uh, my internet service preventer decided that they wanted to show their face. And I do see that this is, this is a potential wrinkle in the, um, what I was just talking about, about how I had set up an ad schedule to try and control the number of ads shown because um, part of that schedule is it shows one a minute after I go live. And if my internet cuts and then I come back online, it means we get an ad one minute in, even though it just showed some a little bit ago and it was on a 15, like there were 15 minutes more before it was supposed to show one. So, um, you know, we may end up turning that schedule off after all. Uh, simply because my internet service preventer might make it worse than it is intended to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's somewhat frustrating. But, um, cause yeah, it's about to show one in less than a minute at this point. <clears throat> I really, 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 really wish there was a way I could just not have them. Um, <laughs> that said, uh, I am... <laughs> I have looked. I have looked and looked and looked. I would love to move somewhere else where I could just get better internet. Uh, sadly, I can't afford to move anywhere else. Everywhere has become in uh, just inconceivably expensive in this area. Um, hi, Oregon Mike, how are you? I warn you, an ad is about to start according to Twitch. Uh, it should be a minute and 30 and then free you from its presence. Um, let's see, I, so yeah, Ultima today and then um, Mass Effect tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right, you're cooking lunch, good. Okay. Uh, it says starting soon. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, Mass Effect tomorrow. Monday, we will be back for some more Mist 3. I don't know what we're going to do as far as Mist. I was really, like... Because uh, it's, it's one that was put on the wheel before I made the change to indicate like where people could spend extra channel points to ask for a full playthrough of a game. Um, so I think that means I'm supposed to do like just a little bit of it, but it was also one where we've played the full previous two games. So it would feel weird not to do the whole game. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how long it's supposed to be hours-wise for completion. Especially because it's a puzzle game, so it's sort of unpredictable. But regardless, we'll we'll be playing some Mist 3 Exile on Monday, and then of course, um, we have episode five. We get to watch episode five of the Streampunks and their um, alien game, which has been spectacular so far. Um, let's see, Wednesday for the archive stream, I have stuff from the Monacan Indian Nation that we're going to look at. Um, and wow, it's going to be November. It's almost time for clocks to change here. Um, they're going to steal an hour of my life. And since I'm already oversleeping, that does not bode well. We'll see what happens. Um, but <laughs> don't steal my time. Uh, falling back. Oh, no, yes, you're right. No, they're returning the hour they stole before. So maybe it will help me to not be oversleeping. I always I never remember, Mike. Thank you for the clarifications. Uh, it's still a terrible thing. Yes. Um, there are some pretty cool... Um, I. Hi, Iron Trout. How are you? Um, I, I was... Well, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to talk about television for a second. 
but I forgot. I haven't been really like looking for like the Halloweeny type horror movie stuff this year. Um, I did watch a Halloween special last night though on Disney Plus. It was the Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales, and it was kind of cute. I, I I enjoy the Lego Star Wars stuff. You were born during daylight savings time, so you just have to repay the hour you borrow. <laughs> Uh, I was born not, well, no, I guess I was born dirt. No, I don't know. I would have to go back and check to see since they keep shifting. I'm guessing I was born during daylight savings time. I don't think sept end of September was ever like standard time once daylight saving was put into effect. But I've never really thought about that. Anyway, the, the game today is Ultima 6, and I, as much as I've been enjoying it, I am still, I don't know, I, I'm getting impatient because we're getting so much closer to the game that I've been working toward, which is Martian Dreams. <laughs> so I'm like, I want this one to be done so that I can do Savage Worlds so that I can finally do Martian Dreams. We're almost two years uh, from the time that I started Ultima 1. Um, oh, this is, my watch is slightly tight. I'm just going to adjust that. Um, anyway, we'll get through it. I, I will eventually get, uh... <sighs> and I think, oh, I, I don't know if anybody remembers, but I had mentioned um, I have a new D&D &D game that I'm going to be starting because the Wednesday night Star Wars game ended and now we're going to be doing D&D. &D. And um, so I've been trying to think of a character and I think I did end up settling on taking my inspiration from the TV series Stargate <laughs> and uh, building a character that is inspired by the character of Daniel Jackson in the Stargate series. Um, so going heavy on the intelligence, taking an archaeologist background um, and going from there. Definitely going to be a wizard of some sort, which means I'm going to. So I usually play sorcerer when it comes to ma mage classes or magic classes. I'm going to have to. Ooh, no, I, I almost had a second of maybe I should do warlock, but no. My aversion to the wizard class is the way they learn spells. Um, sorcerer, you just get them. And you can cast them as many times as you have spell slots. And it's it's a much more streamlined magic user class. The um, wizard is much more complicated in, even if you're in ignoring things like spell components and stuff like that, other than like ones that are like, you need a gemstone worth 5,000 gold. Um, even if you're ignoring anything but expensive ones like that, it's just a lot more that you have to pay attention to detail wise on the spell casting um, where sorcery, the magic is intrinsic wizard. If you want to learn a new spell, you have to go find it somewhere in the world. And so it's a lot that feels like a significant limitation and has always been one that I've sort of tried to avoid for just the joy of my playing. But there is a wizard subclass that I want to play again. I did play it once in a one shot. I may have mentioned this. I don't remember. I'm actually going to I forget what it's called. And I'm going to pull up my character on D&D Beyond so that I can see it. I played a character called Hibernos um, in a Dante's Inferno inspired D&D one shot. And what was my 
wizard subclass. Order of Scribes. And I'm thinking that's what I'm going to go with for this Daniel Jackson inspired uh, character. Um, a bit of bard for the lore slash languages. Well, so um, with wizard, you can just take a cantrip that lets you read any text or speak any languages. So it's not a big deal to try it, to end up with um, the ability to do the languages. Uh, so I, I, I've sort of, I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second, but the Order of Scribes is magic of the book. <laughs> um, so uh, the, they are the most bookish of the wizards. Um, they get a wizardly quill where you can magically make a quill appear in your hand that doesn't require ink. Um, okay, this is a frustration because once again, thanks to my internet service preventer, it has reset the ads schedule so that there's going to be one in like a minute. I'm going to have to change that, I think, because that is untenable. Um, oh, that's really frustrating because I, I had it set up to what people say is the one that plays the least. I didn't get, you didn't? Okay, well, Let's leave it for now and we'll find out what happens. Because I really was trying to just, like, I don't want them. I want them to go away. And um, now I've broken something. Um, wait, is it? Erg. I'm just going to throw this on there for a moment. Um, I need this URL. I broke one of the docs that I had. Uh, custom browser docs. Yeah, is that apply? Apply? Apply. Well, now it's broken. <laughs> Okay, and thank you. Thank you, OBS. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe it's because I had lock docs turned on. Lock docs. Anyway, I, I have distracted myself. I think we may be somewhat more stable than we were a moment ago, uh, internet wise. Um, so. As I was saying, the Order of Scribes, you get an awakened book, an awakened spell book that um, is your focus for casting spells. Uh, you, it lets you change the damage type of any spell that you cast <clears throat> to be a damage type for any other spell that's in your book. So as you can control what damage type your spells do as long as you have a variety of types available to you. Um, and for ritual spells, you can use the normal casting time instead of adding 10 minutes. So, um, there are some possibilities there. Uh, there are some limitations on them, but overall, that sort of... I'm intrigued by that subclass, and I think it would fit... Um, I think it fits with my Daniel Jackson concept, because I could, you know, envision it... Uh, well, the Daniel Jackson concept is more an inspiration than 
something I have to um, adhere to. Uh, I'm not trying to build Daniel Jackson. It was just the inspiration. But what was, there was a thing. I don't remember. Lore and languages and I've forgotten. There was something I was going to mention about it. Oh, uh, maybe it was, I think maybe I was supposed to actually look at my character. I don't remember. Uh, Cause there was an ability or something that I was going to mention, but I've already forgotten what it was. Oh, oh, it was because I started actually building out the the Jan Daniel Jackson inspired character. Everything is broken. Everything is broken, apparently. Um, what had I? Uh, oh, because spells. Uh, it's actually a first level spell. Comprehend languages that works for the, the language bit. Um, but yeah, I, I've sort of been poking at it. I need to, to dig in a little deeper on it in the future and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. But right now I have um, a wizard uh, race, the the d and race. I actually chose the reborn lineage, which if you've watched enough of SG-1, you know is appropriate for Daniel Jackson. Because uh, <laughs> he has died and come back. Um, comprehend is just one step. Isn't tongues a second level? Yes, and I believe, um, I believe that we're going to be starting at third level. So that should not be a problem. But I was also taking um, encode thoughts uh, an illusory script that seemed very flavorful for my book slash text based archaeologist wizard character that I was working on building. If they had a clean actual implementation of a non metallic construct character, I would probably be doing something different. But um, I wanted to avoid doing a homebrew um, for my uh, species. Because um, I have a character that I would love to play again sometime, uh, but that was based on a homebrew, essentially a living doll. Um, Living Doll exists in D&D, but only as a monster, not as a playable character. Uh, and, um, yeah, I would love to do my Living Doll character again and actually get to play them in a game where they might actually get to fight things. <laughs> yeah, Pippa. Um, uh, Pippa needed to leave the campaign that I had created Pippa for, because she and her goals did not mesh with the party. <laughs> uh, so she needed to retire, and it's fine. But someday I would love to play her again. Um, she was the first fighter I ever made, and I, I was inspired to build her uh, by uh, Urza from the fairy tale anime. Um, anyway. I, I'm going to stop talking about D&D &D and actually go to play a role-playing game that we are scheduled to play on Saturdays at this time, known as Ultima 6, The False Prophet. Um, a game? On stream? Yeah, apparently. I'm going to push this button and hopefully all of the things it's supposed to do will happen correctly. 
Um, I'm just going to double check. You should not have game sound yet, but soon. Microphone is on. Uh, musics have stopped. Game sound channel is on. I just have it muted because it was playing in my ears along with the music. And um, that was more than my brain could handle. Uh, now you should have game music. And we should be able to dive into our quest in Britannia. Um, we will be, well, we'll see if the game will actually, um, let me do anything. Last week it, it froze. Um, but it is time, I, I believe, for the Shrine of Valor. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, we're in the pub and we were talking with all the people. Um, presently... We were just talking to Cullum, and I cut things short because um, we I wanted to raid that charity RPG. So let's talk to Cullum again. Yeah, because I want to finish that conversation. Talk. A small man in a handsome vest made of seashells. It cannot be a comfortable vest. The vest is made of seashells. How is that comfortable? You know? There's no way that a vest made of seashells is a comfortable vest. Right? A a am I wrong about that? It does not seem that a vest made of seashells would be comfortable to wear. Thick undershirt. <laughs> Uh, possibly? Click, clack, click, clack, click. Yeah, it's a, it, it'd be a very noisy vest, I think. I'm just re- I'm always rearranging the videos. The windows. The windows? All right, I think I have things where they need to be with having adjusted my setup, except for this. Let me just bloop. There. Now I can see chat and the game and have it telling me when an ad is supposed to begin. Um, hopefully all of this is functional. All right. Uh, why, hello there, Aeocon. Have I told ye about... Uh, have I told ye the one about the traveling folk? Except for this? Oh, gosh. Why? Why, Internet? Um, I don't think you have. Now there's a tail. Um, tail we have as a keyword. Um, thank you, muchless. Muchless? I don't know. Anyway. T-A-L-E. Hey, hey! <laughs> Rogan about jumping in there uh, as we had a derogatory term show up in the game. Um, <clears throat> would you really like to hear the story? Uh, yeah. I call this story Arterosis. Um, oh dear. I'm going to have to jot that down. I do not know what accent I want Cullum to have. I feel like based on the art, I should be maybe going for like a, a Disney villain French accent. Um, arterosis of the liver? Oh no. Oh gosh. Um, I mean, that. That is actually a serious condition if, if your dad actually had um, cirrhosis of the liver. Two traveling folk come to Trinsic, hungry as usual. One goes out and gathers a poisonous weed from the swamps. I'm going to need this story, I think. Trinsic. 
Um, the Disney villain French accent is not coming to my brain today, which is why Cullum doesn't have it. Uh, okay, this is just funny. I was, I just had to check. Poison us weed from the swamps. <clears throat> Where is this going, Cullum? The other uh, sneaks into town and puts the plant into the trough of a horse. Other puts plant in. You're poisoning horses? Well, the poor horse doesn't know better. He eats the stuff, swells up and takes ill. The owner, Emmanuel, doesn't know what to do. Along come the traveling folk. Aye, they cry. Uh, yeah, that was a mixed accent. Um, horse's owner doesn't know what to do. Uh, but the whole point of jotting that down was... Uh, to get the horse's owner's name somewhere in my notes. Okay. Yonder nag hath contracted arteriosis. Le poisson, le poisson. <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> it is, it is a song. Uh. Unless it be immediately removed, the rest shall catch the same fatal disease. More like that, I suppose. Emmanuel, deci Emmanuel decides to sacrifice the diseased one, and the gypsies heartily agree. For what a few coins, uh, uh, say the traveling folk. We will... And, and now I'm mixing, I'm still getting it wrong. Uh, <laughs> lead it away and bury it far from here. Emmanuel is too happy to hand them the doomed animal's bridle plus 10 coins. Uh, so basically this is a story about how they pulled one over on the townsfolk uh, and got the townsfolk to give them a horse for free and actually pay them to take it away. Yes? So the traveling folk uh, make a great kettle of horse stew and bury the rest. Apparently they wanted to eat the horse. A great feast is held amongst uh, the traveling cult folk. Meanwhile, Emmanuel thanks virtue that the ep equine, ec equine epidemic was caught early on. Tis a true story, my friend. Um... All right, so that's a tale. You didn't expect arterosis to actually be a disease? I mean, it wasn't. It was it was the uh, effects of having poison, a fake disease. Yeah, OK. Now we have the story of spirits. Once I heard a haunting melody. In old Magincia. He, he laughs. All right, I'll have to ask about Magincia. Once heard. Of course, the game is now punning. Because old Magincia was populated almost exclusively by ghosts. So of course you heard a haunting melody there. The mantra of valor bringeth great cheer. I'm not a great singer, but I love to play a song of valor. It makes me sing. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really butchering the accent today. I apologize. Um,
Well, it used to be a ghost town. He laughs and plays a little tune on his lute. Yep. A, a literal ghost town in this case. It's not French. It's Jellomite. Problem solved. Yes, indeed. Yes. Uh... The mantra of valor bringeth great cheer. I'm not a great singer, but I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm really I need to just not because I'm not liking the accent that I gave Cullum, and it's I should just give up. Um, I'll sing through. I'll sing though. I'd rather play. <laughs> now I'm just gonna do all sorts of accents. Uh, I don't know why, but the picture, he, he looks like he needs an accent. <clears throat> the pub was filled with the sound of singing. It seemed like such an easy climb. I crawled upon the serpent's spine. I hadn't even time to blanch when down there came an avalanche. And then my mantra came to mind. Two boulders bounced and passed with speed. My frozen fingers gripped to rock, and sliding snow swept loose my feet. Sing ra, my friends, sing ra. Tis a song to make thee strong. When the mountains be high and the ground be far, sing ra, my friends, sing ra. <laughs> uh. I did not know what words were going to be coming, and I feel like I did a fairly good job with that. Uh. <laughs> Brings cheer considering it's raw sort of thing that cheerleaders Ra Ra Sis Boom Ba Yeah. Oh gosh, I, I that hadn't even occurred to me. You're absolutely correct. And of course we already knew what the mantra was. The Mont Ra. Some lovely improvised singing. Thank you. Uh, I had to. Like, you can't read a song. You have to sing a song. Of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Uh, oh, that's Lysandra. I, I'm, I've spoken with Wis. Wis? I've spoken Wis. Lysandra. Yeah. Is this just a guard? He's a fighter. Oh, we need to speak with the fighter. You see an angry looking man wearing short swords on either hip. Well, maybe it's the weird, like, throwing star lodged in his helmet. It, maybe that's why he's angry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Stelnar. Shamino and Stelnar shake hands. Hey, Akon, this is Stelnar Starhelm. Well, okay, I guess with a name like that, you have to have a star on your helmet. Um... Pleased to meet you, my lord Aacon. Uh, what's, what's your job? I am a monster slayer. Sorry, the, uh, the hyphenation with the line break. Um, monster slayer. Is he, is he telling us he's a monster? Um, Shimino. 
Shimino and I traveled the spirit wood together for a time. All right, all right, all right, okay. It's not marked as a keyword, but it got me something. Wisps are nasty flickers. Very hard to kill. Not like gargoyles. Um, I can corroborate uh, Sir Starhelm's story here. Wisps are freaking dangerous <laughs> in our uh, Frostmaiden D&D campaign. I was nearly killed by a wisp. They hit hard. Well, I think we were like level six at the time and it, it really hit hard. There's one and that they call Sinvral. Um, is that the first we've seen of that name? I th think it may be. If I had my way, that gargoyle would be a statue. Well, Funny you should mention gargoyles as statues. That's what they are in the world that I come from. He's a vicious demon. Uh, the vicious. Statue. They turn to stone when you slay them. Oh, well, you know, then all the gargoyles in our world have been killed already. Unless they're actually weeping angels. If they're weeping angels, then... Then they're actually all alive. Oh, sorry. That's drivel, friend Starhelm, says Van Kellyan. A gargoyle's a flesh and blood beast. Stone indeed. Bards, a gargoyle is an ugly monster, and that's that. Oh dear. Yes, Sinvral is an evil wretch. How could Lord British imagine that a gargoyle could understand virtue? I feel like I am missing some story here. So, am I to understand that Lord British actually invited the gargoyles here to have them learn of the virtues? Please explain, Stelnar. Lord British defeated Sinvral in the underworld. The gargoyle went to live in the dry land. Okay, so he went to a place that doesn't serve alcohol. What's big about that? Sinvral is the demon we met in Ultima 5 who told us about the Shadow Lord of Hatred. Thank you. 
I was beginning to wonder if it was, yeah, in the hut where Vesper was. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tis a desert east of the bloody plains. There's a shrine there. I mean, we've been there. Uh, oh, I've never seen, I've never been to that desert or the Shrine of Honesty. Well, maybe you could go there <laughs> and learn some honesty. But apparently, um, this conversation was to inform us of the location of the Shrine of Honesty if we didn't already know where it was. Uh, Van murmurs, ugliness is but skin deep, just as beauty is. Gargoyle skin's very thick and deep, as everyone knows. I do like the sentiment of ugly is just skin deep. Just like beauty. Uh, I think we have another... We have not asked monster. Monster. And hey, it's not long before we'll be doing the mash. The monster mash as we go to free the Shrine of Valor. Uh, it does say an ad is about to start in just under a minute. So just a heads up on that. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't really understand this whole ad schedule thing. Um, it should be just a minute and 30 in length. Oh, I hate all monsters. They're a blight on the face of Britannia. For the past year, I've been killing wisps and the like in Spiritwood. Uh, I think that's supposed to inform us of where the wisps live, where the wisps are. Ooh, I will, I will definitely take you up on the stretch. And the posture and the hydrate. <clears throat> Adjust my posture by not sitting on my foot anymore. <clears throat> Thank you, Elixie. Let's find out what he has to say about wisps. Wisps are nasty flickers. We already had that, didn't we? Oh, it's the same thing as when you asked when I asked about Spiritwood, which wasn't a keyword, and I got the wisp. Um, cool, 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 cool. Well, barring running into any other people that we have not previously met, I believe we may be able to head to the shrine. I'm just going to shut off the spreadsheet. Uh, so presently we are at Jalom. And um, <clears throat> uh, we're we're up here at the Sword and Keg. We've been to the Warrior's Stead Inn. We've been to the Town Hall. We've been to Naughty No Man's. 
Um, the shrine should be south of town, I think, because uh, we're we're here in Jalom, and the shrine should be on the southern isle. Who wants to go do the mash and stop some gargoyles on the southern isle? And then it should be time to level up Sherry. <gasps> I hope. Because Shrine of Valor should unlock um, high strength upgrades for level option. And Sherry could use a bit of strength. I think we're good on... I'm at 145 hit points. Dupree's at 118. Ayolo's at 119. Buff Mouse, yes. Uh, Shimino's at 90. Sherry's at 90. Jan is at 119. Julie is at 60. And Gwen is at 54. But I think, yeah, they're basically at their max. Just a little bit of hurt. Um, and baggage wise. I think we're good. We don't have a whole lot of money left. Ship deed, various potions. Don't remember what any of them do. Is it the orange ones that heal or the pink ones? I don't remember. Eh, we'll find out. I'm not that worried. I just, I have bad memory. I have six keys. I have the A key, the lowercase n key, the G key, the H key, the I key, and the J key. I have a good assortment of reagents. It looks, though, like not a whole lot of mandrake root and not a whole lot of black pearl. Uh, we still do need to purchase those somewhere. And then, of course, one, two, three, four, five rune stones from unlocking five shrines. I've only, oh no, I have the rune of valor, but I haven't actually unlocked valor yet. So, <clears throat> compassion, valor, justice, sacrifice, spirituality. Wait, do I have six? Do I have honor as well? Oh, yeah, I have six rune stones. Wish I could sort this. So yeah, I already have the... I have the rune of honor. So yeah, we should be able to unlock both of them today. Sweet. Some honey. I still don't know what this book that Shimino's carrying around is for. Ah, we'll get to that after we finish with the shrines. Sherry presently equipped with a sling. I think for this coming battle, I'm gonna give the lightning wand. Lock picks. Some older games, you could do a rudimentary sort by handing an item to the same person. I will attempt. Uh, I should be able to also, yeah, sword and lightning. Or can I do, oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, if I move them in and out of the bag, it should basically function like a sword. It'd be good to do, I suppose. We have previously determined that this is, in fact, inventory management, the game. Uh, this scroll is filled with Lord British's notes on his astronomical observations. And if you're looking for the clue, there's something for you under a plant in Serpent's Hold. All right, I will attempt.
Oh yeah, that just moves them out of the bag, but it's fine. We'll do that, and then I'll put them in the bag how I want them. All right, 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 right. Compassion. Scarry face. Actually, I want the other things in there first, so we'll do that. Drag and drop was truly an innovation. Well worth it. Um, okay. Let's move the letters first. I wish I could put them in the little book. Actually, I'm going to put them in the rucksack. Oh, I don't know which phases of the moon go with which one. So I'm just going to move those in. I don't care about order for them. Moon phase. All right. <clears throat> but what I want is I want compassion first. Please. Rune of Compassion. And then I want Justice. Yes? And then Sacrifice. Is that the Blood Drop? Is that what? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I did that wrong. I'm silly. Uh, right, compassion, then valor. Then justice. And sacrifice. And then honor. And spirituality. And that way they're in order. Okay, gargoyle time. I think. I'm not procrastinating. I don't know why you would say I was. Oi. Do I know you? Oh, it's just Pierre. Which building is this? Oh, that's just a house. Somebody's house. Okay. Okay. I've got to get across. <clears throat> Can I use this? Or am I going to get yelled at? I have one of my own. Apparently, I can use this one. Well, I should have stolen this one instead of the one I stole. From the little map, it looks like there should be a pier over here somewhere. Ha-ha! All right. It's gargoyle time! Maybe? I'm not surprised you hear something to the east. There should be gargoyles here. Um, it's battle time! Finally hit one of them. Bum, 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 da, da. I attacked the embankment. I'm sure it was frightened of the attack that I sent against it. All 
I am going to have to move. Why are they so hard to hit? Any more? I, I assumed there were more. It There was no way that there were only two. Stop hitting me! Ouch! No more fireballs, please! Wait, what just happened? Oh! I have been made unable to move. Um. Haha. -ha. No more magic. Except Apparently, lightning from the lightning wand still works. Interesting. Dupree, come on, hit the darn thing. What is going on? Why? Why are we missing every single shot? Can we please? Like, I have many people attacking these gargoyles. This battle is taking much longer than it really should. Very strange. Alright, you're using boomerang. You've still got one more throwing axe before you need to start using a bow and arrows. And wow, Julia, what's up with the 34 hit points? Gweno's at 15? <laughs> Let's have you retreat, please. Uh, 34 of 60, you're using a sling? <laughs> what is going on? This, this is just really strange to me. Why are we doing so badly? Alive, right? I'm not like attacking a gargoyle corpse somehow.
Hmm. All right, let's try this. Um, and then bye bye, boomerang. Hello, spellbook. All right, we've got create food, dispel magic, detect magic, douse, heal, help, ignite, light, poison, and untrap. Those all, I don't feel like I have too many um, offensive spells there, huh? Well, in that case, um, for the moment, then I'm gonna heal Shamino, maybe? Shimino. <laughs> and then I'm gonna heal me. Oh, jeepers. Um, well, I didn't have offensive spells, so I think Stormcloak is the way to go to prevent those fireballs. Uh, frack. This is just weird that I cannot seem to actually harm this gargoyle. We're not even, like, fighting a group. It's one gargoyle, and nobody can hit the darn thing. got to be missing something. None of the food will help. Yeah, I don't see any, like, tools that I would use differently. But I feel like just hitting attack over and over is not doing anything. And the only hits we're actually scoring are on our, our like, friendly fire. What is going on? Um... Maybe I just got some, like, stupendously bad RNG in this fight. Okay, which potion does what? Um. Trying to look this up real quick, because I never remember. Green potion does poison. Uh, 
I know that. I don't know what's going on. Um. Mantras, runic alphabets, versions. Potion, potion, tell me now. Which one do I need to drink? Um. Compendium. Nope. Manual? Nope, those are... It must be the clue book. Aha! Page 47. Um, oranges sleep purple. Magical protection. Red cures poison. Yellow is the healing potion. I always forget that yellow is to heal. That just seems wrong. I believe I have. Various potions. Let's see. I don't know that they will work while we have the magical <coughs> storm cloak on, but. Orange. Purple? What does black do? Um, black is invisibility. Blue, uh, is to wake from sleep. Green is poisonous. Orange will make you go to sleep. White is x-ray vision. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what would be helpful in this moment. But I also don't know why... Why our attacking is not working. I'm gonna try. It's probably not gonna work. Oh, it's the protection one. So maybe it did work? I don't know. I didn't have a yellow one. Okay, but seriously. Uh... Right, Jana is now set to retreat. Why is this battle going so badly? Like, we are seriously not actually hitting this gargoyle at all. Um...
he won't talk to me. If I just leave him alone? I have no idea what's going on. He's following me around. I can't hurt him. A club, a leather helm, and a wooden shield. I don't really care about those. Reordered them. Very odd. Uh, does Sherry have enough to level up? I'm not certain. talk to shrine, isn't it? Altar of Valor. As you kneel before the altar, a mystical voice sounds in your head. Thy deeds serve as an example to all. Do you wish to meditate at this altar? Yes? Sherry? Ra, 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 ra. Tender-handed. Stroke a nettle and it stings you for your pains. Grasp it as a man of metal, and it's soft as silk remains. Sherry has gained a level and strength. There is naught else for you to learn here and now. Return when thy journey has progressed further. I, I do not really know what's going on. Um, that battle seems to be over, even though it's not? I'm very confused by that. Uh, let's check everybody's experience points and see who can level. Um, but, you know, th th I think the battle is over. The battle is done. One of the gargoyles is still alive. Uh, experience point thresholds. I'm looking them up because I don't actually know. Or rather, I don't remember. All right, first level at 100. <laughs> um, number of XP required doubles with each level. So 100 XP for second, 200 for third, 400 for fourth, 800 for fifth. So 1600 for sixth level. Uh, meaning I do not have enough to level Aokan yet. Um, I don't... Dupree's already at his max level. Shimino is one hit point away from being able to level up to level four. Iolo... Iolo can level up to level five. Sherry is at her maximum, and she has a strength of five now. Uh, because we just leveled her here and gained three strength. 
She can carry so many things now. Look, she can wear more pounds or more stones. So we could maybe even get her some armor. That's exciting. Um, Jana's at max level for those hit point or experience points. Uh, Julia, because Julia had to retreat during that fight. Not yet high enough experience for level three. Gweno, Gweno could level. So Iolo and Gweno. Alter of Valor, yes. Yes, meditate. Iolo. Ra, ra, sis, boom, ba. Every time. In my head. All right, Iolo leveled up. And it was, it was Gweno, right? Yes. Um, yes. Gweno. Take the boat back to town. The, the gargoyle is just following me and has attacked. I don't understand. not dying right now. That is not a thing that's going to happen. It's a it's a very attacking pet. I could cast help, but doesn't it have negative benefit or negative effects? Let's just try um, a healing spell to get me on a boat. Bye-bye, gargoyle. I don't know. It won't let me kill it. Um, so I just ignored it and continued on. Uh, we'll come back later, next time we um, visit the shrine, and maybe we'll kill it then, if I remember it exists. I don't believe that was the intended way to do that shrine, but it's done. Uh, let's visit the inn and maybe... Nope, this is not the inn. It's 5.36 in the p.m. Um, where's the inn? Isn't this the tavern? I thought the inn was the... I just need the map. The Warrior Stead Inn is south of the building that I just entered. Uh, I'm going to name that gargoyle that we let live George. Because he wants to hug me and crush me and... <laughs> George seems an appropriate name. Hello, Innkeeper Martin. I'm rest. Yes. Yes. Just heal up a little bit with the... Actually, I didn't even need to spend money to heal, but it's fine. Um, 
don't even know what time it is now. It's 5.01 in the morning now. And we've got... We're better off health-wise than we were. We're going to be heading to Trinsic next. Uh, to do the Shrine of Honor. We've already talked to people in Trinsic. And we already got the rune. Um. Oh, hey, look, I can highlight these in whichever color there. Valor is done somehow. Uh, we're going to do honor next. And then I think it's honesty and then humility. Um, oh yeah, I was checking to see conversations we had in Trinsic. Uh, we're, I mean, intrinsically, we had the conversations in Trinsic. Um, yeah, we, we, I think it was mostly the traveling folk that we talked to though, wasn't it? Talked to the weaponsmith. Talked to the mayor. Talk to a fortune teller. Oh yeah, that was Tanith. Oh gosh. Karina, Zoltan, and Blaine. Juggler, but would join you. I don't have any space. All right. Um. Right, right, right. I think it's worth teleporting back to Britannia, getting fully healed. Or back to Lord British. So... <clears throat> Where is my moonstone map? Castle of Lord British, directly above me. Uh, use the orb of the moons. Hello, red moon gate. Not a gate to the red moon, if anybody's been watching um, Critical Role. Uh, we did not just gate to the red moon. Of course, now we're here and Lord British is not awake. This was good planning on my part. Uh, oh, what was the cheat? Is it Alt 213? To advance time. Two and five. Just, I just need to pass a little bit of time, and this is the easiest and fastest way. There. Just gonna wander out and then come back because I need Lord British to appear. Come on, people now. Put the king on the throne so that he can heal me. Noble ruler of Britannia, heal. My whole party is healed. Ah! Wizard of Oz. I collect rare books. There is one in particular I've been hunting for years. It's called The Wizard of Oz. Ever heard of it? Yes. Well, if thou dost run across it in thy travels, I would greatly appreciate it if you couldst bring it here. I have promised a great reward to whoever shalt bring me a copy. Hi, Moody Mystery! How are you? 
Uh, I, I think we already had the Wizard of Oz quest. All right. Quests. Ask Yolo about Dupree when Dupree is not around. Dupree's always around. I would have to kick Dupree from the party. Uh, ask one of the members of the council to tell me about Wisps. I mean, I just had a conversation about Wisps. I don't know who the members of the council are. Order of Runes and the word they spell. I know that. Infinity. Uh, I guess that one's done. Get the runes. I have one or two more runes to get, so that's nearing completion. Yeah, infinity was from a previous game. Is it another word that I'm supposed to be getting from the runes? 417.8 Baum. C6, The Wizard of Oz. Um. I still don't really know how to use the library here in this game. Uh, we haven't done that one yet. Empire, Dutchman, still not sure on those. <clears throat> Find the Wreck of the Virtuous. Find the Wreck of the Dutchman. Other half of the tablet for Mariah. Talk to traveling folk at a pub. That is a possibility. This will be intrinsic, I think. Find Nicodemus, ask someone in you. Learn about Dewey in game. Um, I'm just gonna move that one up here next to the Wizard of Oz one. Give book to Lord British. Tell Sir Kenneth at the conservatory what the mantra moo means. We should be able to do that. Shouldn't we? Gain ability to hear. Oh, that. Investigate Quentin's murder. Ask Horns about guild languages. We didn't have any way to ask him. That didn't work. Mandrake about his version. About his. His. Ask Mandrake about his version of the eight virtues? Did we not do that already? This is why I have notes. Uh, virtues. List them. Truth, love, and courage. I know we got alternate ones. Did I not write them down? Yeah, the principles of wine, women, and song would lead to, okay, drunkenness, sensuality, harmony, lust, laziness, dance, indulgence, and happiness. Yes, thank you. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted that to be text color. Thank you. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. There. There. 
Uh, yeah, so that quest we did. Find ephemerides at the Lyceum. Plans for a hot air balloon basket and bring it to Michelle and Minoc. Uh, find Enchanter, east of Empath Abbey, between two rivers, due north of Britain. There was some reason we couldn't do that quite yet. Ask Tanith about a duck. We did that. Purr for chitin, or purr for kitten in Britain. Find a dragon's egg for Sandy Intrinsic. Ask traveling folk for advice or what they have to sell. Learn about Penumbra. Ask Heftimus McPry something. <gasps> uh, not sure what yet, but I know I'm supposed to ask Heftimus McPry something. Okay. Uh, where is Kitten located in Britain? Maldrick? This is my first time playing this game, and the art is all new to me, but for some reason, this time, when I pulled up and looked at the merchant named Maldrick and saw the art. My initial reaction was, oh yeah, he's a gargoyle in disguise. I don't know if that's a thing, but that is my reaction. <laughs> All right. I need to find where Kitten is, if I'm going to ask, or if I'm going to purr for Kitten in Britain. Where are my other party members? And also, why is the game suddenly barely moving? You know, if you open doors, you can walk through them. <laughs> the game closed the doors, so the rest of my party stayed on the other side of it. <gasps> no. I was like, maybe that's how I can ask about Dupree. Oh, go away. Um, kitten. I should look at my notes. I'm sure it will tell me where Kitten is located. Curator of the museum. All right, where is the museum? The Musée de Bretagne? I don't know. That didn't really work. Um, F. To my right. It's kitten. All right, we're going to do this. Talk to kitten. You see a slender woman wearing a leather glove on her left hand. Hello and welcome, my lord. Purr. I can't help you with that. Try the library at the Lyceum. Uh, maybe I misspelled it. Oh, there we go. She favors you with a deep throaty purr that sounds just like a cat. I think that's literally all it was, was that we were just supposed to, um, Get that little bit of flavor. 
I, I truly don't actually think there was anything else to um, purring for Kitten in Britain. I'm going to mark that one done, because um, we purred for Kitten in Britain. <clears throat> Be sure to have a look at our paintings while you're here and come again soon. We're expecting some unicorn horns and a Klein bottle from Trinsic. Meow. Um. I'm gonna jot that down. Uh, museum in Britain expecting some unicorn horns and a Klein bottle from Trinsic. But also I'm going to move because, wow, the, um, Static electricity exhibit there is really hard on the ears. Um, uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I don't need any ammunition. YOLO is completely out of ammunition. Jana doesn't have much. Gweno has 32. Ammunition is apparently really difficult to come by. Uh, it costs so much money to keep buying you arrows and bolts and jeepers. I am not rich. Wasted them all on that gargoyle that couldn't be killed. I don't know where the ammo shop is. You just sell bows and crossbows, right? Not bolts and arrows. Where's the Fletcher? have located Fletch. Lynn, the Fletcher. Um, bye. Uh, I'm the only one with money, so me. Uh, start with crossbow bolts. I sell bolts only by the dozen. How many dozens? I don't remember how much they are. How about you tell me that, huh? Um, equipment? Oh, no, there's a list of merchants somewhere, right? I know there was. What I don't know is where. Um, table of contents. Is it? <laughs> I really wish I knew how much they cost. Well, <clears throat> how many dozens of bolts do I want? There's 12 per dozen. I had five dozen each for both of them. 
Let's try. Okay, I bought four. Uh, yeah. Arrows. I don't know how much I have money wise. That took me down to 55 gold. Um, it all needs them. Eolo. Chana Gweno. Where is Eolo? Ah, there you are. It's so easy to lose track of my companions. Let us move. 48 crossbow bolts to Eolo. There's Janna. Let us, nope. Move Aeocon. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna move my arrows to Jana there. Okay. So I do have a full party. We know there's at least one um, companion that we could get. Are they better than the ones that I have? Blaine, the Jester. How would he fight, I wonder? Strength of 16, dex of 21, <clears throat> no magic. Uh, if we were to get Blaine. Honestly, not that different than Janna stats-wise. Throws his balls? <laughs> then he juggles at opponents? Does he really? Because that would be amazing. Yeah, I think I'm not going to pick up Blaine as a companion. But I am going to head down to Trinsic and try to deal with the gargoyles there and maybe I'll get to kill them this time. Unless I've already done so. I didn't mark it as done. I could just teleport to the Shrine of Honor. That's a thing I could do. I can't get out of the shop. It is that time. Oh dear. Right. I will attempt to stretch and hydrate and, and other suchness. I'm going to save. Not meant to be dirty. Oh gosh, <laughs> Rudy, I didn't even, I didn't read them as dirty, but. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch. I'm actually going to refill my beverage. <clears throat> my sinuses are being very weird and so like all of the audio is strange um <laughs> if you have not been watching uh too terribly long i have 
use Station 2 issues and ear congestion issues quite often, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't, I, I did not, I didn't take it that way. Um, but also, even if it had been, as long as it's done in good fun, it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, as long as it's not uh, derogatory towards any specific people. Uh, where we, we're trying to have honor. So, if I teleport there, then we'll know for sure if I have defeated the gargoyles around the Shrine of Honor, right? Use the orb of the moons! Um, and it is down one, down two, and left one. I love the orb of the moons. Hi! Um... Yeah, it looks like we already did the Shrine of Honor. It's all done. So, that is my bad for not having marked it as done on my spreadsheet. Nope, not words I want. Well then, if we've done Compassion, spirituality, justice, sacrifice, honor, and valor. I believe it's time to be humble. Uh, which would re require us to go to New Magencia. I do have a. F I have a deed of gift. Not a deed of gift. Well, I, sorry, that is my brain. Uh, <laughs> pulling in a phrase from work. Um, I have a, a deed for a ship. So I think, can I just get on any ship with that? Or do I have to go back to Jalome? Also, it's not hard to get to Shalom. Which, you know, I might as well do. Use. <clears throat> but I'm not, I'm not going underground to get there this time. This one is up to left two. <laughs> we have a donation? Uh, <laughs> yeah, a deed of gift. Oh, gosh. All right. To the docks. And we're gonna get some lovely shipboard music here. Honestly, it is my favorite track in the entire game. Uh, we are presently here and we wish to be here. I could teleport, but I could also sail there. And sailing there at least the first time um, seems to be the most prudent method, I suppose. I don't know. I don't... Do we care about prudence? Um... I'm just looking at some instructions on the easiest way to travel there. Cool, 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 cool. Let's sail. Eventually, by sailing eastward, we should come to land that we can follow. 
Maybe. Oh. This looks like... No? Okay. <laughs> I am moving, I swear. Anything. Anything at all. Hello. I have found some land. Land ho! Uh, all right, if we head south around this, this should be the lower part of the mainland. I don't actually know. I suppose just the regular attack button would be for attacking from the boat in this game. It's the first time I've used a boat in the game to like travel, well, a frigate, a boat that should have weapons on board to travel somewhere. <clears throat> I have used a skiff. Right, 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 right. Should be lots of little islands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if we go north. Oh dear. Am I. Think. <laughs> I'm trying to follow the map, um, but I'm not exactly sure where I am on the map, which makes it a little bit harder. I think here. Can I go north here? Also, where the heck am I? None of this looks familiar. I have never seen this place. This is a lot more islands than I see on the map. I don't know what's going on. Ah! I don't want to fight the sea monsters. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Just gonna sail around the coast until I get to pause. If I can ever get to pause. I mean, we've done all of this sort of sailing multiple times in prior games. I don't know what inlet that is. I have no idea where I am. Okay. These landforms are not looking familiar. Did you know it's easy to get lost at sea when you can't see very much of the world? Didn't I just see a peninsula like that? <laughs> I am so lost. Hey, look, I think, I think that may have been Trinsic. Huh? If that is indeed Trinsic, then it shouldn't be too much further to find... Pause. Um, game? DOSBox? Hello? 
Game just froze. Hello? Hello, Ultima 6. Uh, I, I would like to lodge a complaint. <laughs> no! No, it's completely, completely frozen. I'm going to have to exit out. Well, Navigatron <laughs> was a little bit more difficult. I did find pause. Not the pause I was looking for. Although, looking at the map above my head, I think I see an easier way. It's interesting, none of the Ultima games have frozen like that in the past. And this one started doing it last week. It froze once. <clears throat> I don't know why. Oh gosh, is this where I am? Well, Jace, did I not save after I got the ammunition? Oh, at least I saved after the ammunition. Well then, uh, let's go get our boat. I mean, technically I could just teleport, but I don't know if I'll need the boat once I get there. I think I will. So I want the boat. Jalom is up to right to. just realized I th think I wanted eh, we'll get some later I was like I think I wanted to get armor for Sherry but I forgot all about that right let us use boat wait okay I don't have okay all right all right I only have the deed for this boat, apparently. That's good to know. Now, if I go to the other side of town in the boat, if I sail past where uh, the impossible to kill gargoyle is and go west, I think I see an easier way to get to uh, Numagencia. All right. That is the Southern Dock. And if I go... I wish to be a little bit further north before I start heading west with a vengeance. Yes, okay. I believe this is where I'm gonna start from. Right around here, and I'm gonna save. All right, westward ho! <laughs> sure seems like one or... What? The gargoyles have seriously altered the world. The world is no longer round.
Well, in that case, things have gotten way easy. I know. What happened to my nice round world? Also, why is it the corner not like a corner? But like, I don't need to navigate through a bunch of islands. I could just ride the edge of the world. And peek north a little bit to see where I've ended up. Actually, I could just also like We are in the middle of the ocean with nothing around us. I may have discovered a flaw in my plan. Eventually I will find something. Even if it's just the northern edge of the world. We can survive indefinitely at sea. You almost had a heart attack? A sextant is a good idea. I don't have one, I don't believe. Uh... All right. Given these landforms, where the heck am I? Is that the Great Northern Desert? think so. Where am I? I may have made things significantly difficult, or more difficult on myself with regard to figuring out where the heck I am. Yes, a sextant seems like it would be very a very good idea. Mountains. Just east of Castle Britain? I was also sort of thinking in that realm. So... Let's see. More mountains. That's an inlet. Mountains, mountains, and more mountains. Lots of repeated terrain. Okay, it's literally giving me the same shore bits over and over. Makes it really hard to figure out where the heck I am. Okay. If I go north here. <gasps> this is why I don't go to sea. I always get lost at sea in this game. Hello there. Are you Castle Britain? I don't think it is. Where is this? Let's find out. Maybe it is. We got some fields. Mm -hmm. 
Gideon. A clue. <clears throat> Scarabry. I have found Scarabry. Honestly, thought we had done a lot of eastward sailing along the bottom of the world. We're still on the west side of the main continent. Well, there's a bit more sailing in our future. Well, geez, Louise. Um, we ended up almost due north of where we started. <laughs> Save a little bit of time by doing that. Uh, okay. Well, knowing that the world is not round and that I cannot sail west to end up east of my position. I am going to sail south and east around the bottom of the world. I did. I wonder why they got rid of the, um, the round world. It certainly made it easier to navigate. <clears throat> oh, hello, there's land here. I think I need to go further south. Zweed. Uh, okay, no. This way. We will eventually sail from east to west, or west to east, sorry. I feel like I'm playing a very strange version of uh, Sid Meier's Civilization at the moment. trying to, like, map out the borders, but I can't see the overall map. Come on. Just need my frigate over near Numagentia. Thank you. That was a flat-sided island. Is it time to turn westward again? Hello, Doc. What's up? Where might we have found ourselves now? Is this... Old 8-bit music playing in the background is strangely soothing as you look. Oh. Yeah. It's, this is a good soundtrack, actually. Is this Serpent's Hold? Or is it? Yeah. OK, it is. Great. At least I know where I am. I am not doing Serpent's Hold things right now. I am going to New Magencia. I just wanted to know where I had ended up. 
We will eventually return to Serpent's Hold, and I believe we'll have to come here by ship, because I don't think I can teleport to Serpent's Hold. But... I... I know where we are. Whether I know how to <clears throat> get north from here to continue on to where we're going, that's another story. Oh, look. Sadness. I'm still on the southern side of what I need to be north of, so we're not quite there yet, but we've made some progress. Are we through? Made it through the wilderness? Aha! Yay! I think we have um, successfully navigated around Serpent's Hold and are on our way towards where we will find Trinsic and Paws. Um, we need to get to Paws so that I can navigate properly without a sextant. I don't actually know how to get a sextant in this game. I mean, I'm sure we'll find one eventually. Also, where are those shipwrecks? Uh, one is on the shore of Lock Lake. That's up north. Um, Fens of the Dead. Which is right in the area that we're going to be heading to, so maybe we might be able to find the wreck of the Dutchman while we're at this. That would be pretty cool. Since now we have a ship, I want to upgrade the ship. <laughs> and I think finding those wrecks is how we do it. Swampy area south of Paws. Yeah, and since we're heading to, like we're sailing up towards where Paws is, we should be able to um, hopefully find the wreck of the Dutchman. All right. Uh, why is there land north of me? Am I sailing between the islands? I don't want to be between the islands. I want to be north of them. Well, must find the Northmen. Uh, I think I somehow got between the islands. Um, and that's a problem. Come on, game. Okay. That should be better. <laughs> Who knew navigating a, uh, a pixelated boat would be um, so hard? <clears throat> Navigatron. I mean, I am navigating it um, because I I can't go straight. I had to. It was there, and my brain heard it, and it had to be said. Right. I'm floating on ocean. Whoa! I'm, I'm being. Come on! I just want to sail the world faster. We have found a fort of some sort. This is... What is this? Uh, 
Yeah, the repeating coastline is um, a bit of an issue. Where are we? This isn't on the map. I'm saving. What is this place? I have no memory of this place. Hello? Move the guard. Something to the east? Are there gargoyles in this town? Is this a gargoyle town? Gargoyle town! Magical armor and a dog! There's a pier that I probably should have docked at. He's an armory. Where are we? Hello? Talk to the dog? I can't use the portcullis. There's a blacksmith shop here, it appears. I want magic armor. Where the heck are we? Oh, no, I believe you. I just don't know where I am. A merchant. Is this one's name going to be Natalie? And is this town full of 10,000 maniacs? Um, they are apparently just a merchant. Let us talk to them. A tall, muscular man with a solemn look on his face. Uh, no, I think I think we can find it. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm just. There shouldn't be anything here on the map, and this is a very extensive thing. Welcome, my lord. What can I do for you? Well, first tell me your name. My name is Harold. All right. Hi, Harold. Is your friend Kumar around? Um, is there is there a White Castle? Are we going to go to White Castle? Um, sorry. Brain. Horseshoes is my living. Uh-huh. Oh. I don't need you to put horseshoes on any of us. No, no. White Castle. Only European fried capon. No, no, yes. No, no White Castle. Only European fried capon. Um... That is EFC was the um, the name of the restaurant chain that we made up for where we were getting getting food in Ultima Two. Um, commerce ensues. All right, we interrupted the. Um, horseshoe guy while he was eating. Ooh, 
Maybe buying a horseshoe for is good luck. I that's there's that is certainly a possibility. Locked door mystery. And right, let's talk to the cook. Sandy. We don't already have these people in the list, do we? I feel like I've seen Sandy before. I have. Did we already talk to Harold? We have. Well, I mean, except that I just wrote him down, so maybe we have? Are we? Is this Trinsic? How have I been? This is Sandstone Ang Angus, right? Yeah, we're intrinsic. How? The landform that I was seeing around me compared to the landform that I saw on the map did not lead me to think that I had reached Trinsic yet. Because I never saw the out the, the outer banks. So I thought I was still further south. Uh, great. Trinsic is lovely this time of night. That's why I was really confused was because like it did not make sense. It didn't seem like we were intrinsic yet. I have lost my boat. But intrinsic isn't where I want to be right now either. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> become extrinsic and um, get back on board my boat. If I can find it. Where did we park? Uh, I forgot to ask them to remember where we parked. I'm out of range. I definitely need a sextant. Yeah. Uh, this, this is not exactly a surprise that I need a sextant. Um, items. I don't know where I get the sextant, though. Ba, 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 ba. I've got controls, yeah, companions, karma. Equipment seems like a promising page that it would tell me. No mention. Items? Nope. Magic. The sextant is on the magic list. Because apparently it's... Huh? No idea. Um... So I have a lovely little wiki uh, that gives me info about the game. And I'm not afraid to use it. I don't care. But... It, it doesn't seem to tell me where I would get a sextant, so. Interesting. Interesting. 
Let's find out. People that sell ships. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. <clears throat> Apparently, um, Moon Glow is the location that we be, we would be wanting to go through if we wanted to acquire a sextant. Which we'll go to Moon Glow when we go for the Shrine of Modest Honesty. Modesty. If you can't find a sextant soon, we may have to leave it for next week. We're nearing the end of stream. Oh my gosh. Time has flown. Uh, I'm actually going to s sail northward. Um, we will, we're not gonna be getting a sextant this week, but um, that's bizarre. I was hitting all the wrong keys. Oh! Oh, Mike, I hope the preview goes good. I was hitting the home and page up keys and it was navigating. That was um, not intentional on my part. Um, this would be easier if I could see a darn thing, don't you think? I am just going to advance time so that it is morning. People. Uh, there. Much better. So, we've got the fens that we'll be passing through. And there should be a shipwreck somewhere in them. But I don't have an exact location. Was that a freaking skelly? Skellington? There's a Skellington. Um. Right. The Dutchman on Fens of the Dead. So the Dutchman should be around somewhere? Somewhere around here is the wreck of the Dutchman. Actually, locating it, though, might require more effort than I'm willing to put in at the moment. All right, we have located Paws, which is not our final destination. It is just a waypoint and navigational marker for what we want to do, which is head east, young man. But also, like, somewhere around here, there's a wreck of a ship known as the Dutchman. I wonder if it flies. see a ship. It can do 30 points of damage. Searching here, you find nothing. Get? I found the wreck. Do I not get anything for finding the wreck? I somehow thought I'd be able to, like, salvage parts from the ship or something. Y 
use ship? Oh no, I think I broke it. Poisoned? You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. I'm a... I'm very confused. Well, I know where it is now. I don't seem to be able to use it. Or get anything from it in any way. All I got was poisoned, and I don't even, I didn't even really get poisoned. I didn't take any damage, I'm not actually poisoned. Very bizarre. I don't know what's supposed to happen with that. I'll have to explore that later. For now, I'm going to finish navigating to New Magencia. Uh, right. This is the island with Buccaneer's Den on it. Which is not our destination. Uh, but if we can find the southern tip of the island and continue our way eastward, we should find New Magencia. I should just run smack dab into the island with New Magencia on it. Island! And then we just have to get the, like, get somebody in town to give us the rune stone. And then we should be able to go and get another shrine next week. Hello there. Only next to land, I thought I was. A villager. You see a stalwart fellow with a look of placid concentration. We have made landfall in New Magencia. Stalwart fella with a look of Placid Concentration. <laughs> Watch out! That villager wants to steal your ship! He's just waiting for it there! I know, I had that same thought, actually. You think you see a brief flicker of recognition pass between Iolo and the fisherman? But before you can be certain, he turns to address you. And good morning there. Anything I can do for you? Well, first you can start by telling me your name. Oh, forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Connor Staller Falcon. And what is your name? Yolo, I believe, is married. Connor Star Falcon. That's an amazing name. I love that name. I may have to use that name. Um, <laughs> I now have multiple names from this game that I'm like, I have to create a character and like play this character. Uh, last week was Sandstone Angus. Oh, this week it's Connor Star Falcon. Uh. Well met, my lord. I am a fisherman. 
and catch and fish. As in all of life, there is something to be learned. All right. But you have such an epic name. How are you just a fisherman? Um. We've met before, but that was many years ago. Mm-hmm. Yars. Yes, long ago. Great! Useful conversation, that. I still have not mastered the way of the fisherman. Is that like the way of the warrior? Um, will Klingons teach it to you? <clears throat> but I think perhaps the key to enlightenment lies not so much in the destination as in the roads one travels. But key to enlightenment lies not in the destination, but the roads traveled. Mm hmm. I'm satisfied to live here and learn what I can from the fish. Grand for you. I unfortunately have a quest. Rune? I can't help you with that. The mantra of humility is Lum. If you seek the shrine, I'll help you find it. Lum. S H R I N E. The Shrine of Humility is far to the southeast. I'd be glad to take you there, but my boat, or in my boat, but I'm afraid it is too small to weather the high seas. He's got just a skiff. Uh, far to the southeast. So much buffering, yes. Uh, Chantel, my internet service preventer, is getting annoyed, I guess. We'll be finished in a moment. Let's down at the beach. Feel free to borrow it if you have need. I mean, I came here on a frigate that you literally just watched me get off of. Uh, you telling me that I can borrow your boat if I need it really, really reinforces the idea that you're going to steal my boat. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's say goodbye to um, Connor Star Falcon. Amazing name. Is that swamp? Why is that plant flashing? Okay, I just need to save. Uh, because it is time. It is indeed time. Uh, okay, but... Yeah, like, no. <laughs> it wanted to start an ad, and I was like, no, we're, we're ending. Um, to the credits! Um, one of these, yes, oh good. It, I believe it has successfully done the volume that I needed it to do. Thank you. 
all so, so very much for joining me today, uh, despite, you know, the ongoing issues with my internet service preventer. Um, it is lovely to have you all join me. I'm very glad that I got to come back and I got to um, uh, complete sort of the sh 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 Shrine of Valor today. Um, and we managed to make our way to Nemagencia and um, we will investigate town looking for uh, the Rune of Humility next week. Um, thank you, of course, to my mods. Um, thank you to uh, Rykar for the thousand bits. Um, that was wonderful. Um, thank you, everybody who joined. Thanks, uh, Moody, for the um, <laughs> the tips without just like being, go here, do that. I, I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, just thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's been a great time. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to make sure I can get in all of my streams this week. I think I'm going to physically make it through the week without having to cancel one. Um, the last couple weeks weren't stupendous for me. Uh, but I think we're good going forward. Tomorrow, I'll be back at 1 p.m. Eastern to continue with Mass Effect, currently in Mass Effect 3. Um, it is my first time ever playing those games. Uh, and then Monday, uh, it'll be Mist 3. Uh, Wednesday, um, some archival materials about the Monacan Indian Nation. And then we'll be back here next Saturday for more Ultima 6. Uh, it has been a while uh, since I have popped over to say hi to Bree at the end of a Saturday stream. So I think that's where we're going to go. Um, it says art as the category, not surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, um, if you all want to join me for the raid, um, I do have a little raid call that we've been using for a while called or that is hashtag rogue raid. And um, you can copy and paste out of there. If you have my emotes, it'll automatically do the, like, the little hello daggers. Otherwise, just, you know, whatever hello emotes you might want to do. And that would be wonderful. It'd be lovely if you stuck around and said hi to Brie. Um, just make sure I can be ready for... Ah! Okay. Uh, but yeah, thank you once again, everybody, for joining me. I hope I see you again soon. Until I do, get out there and do some shenanigans. <laughs>